So here we go. Well, guys, I'm a little bit of it. On the left side. First team five. They'll throw it in from the side. up a long range shot. Oh! This guy is a complete player in the post. He really causes problems, Gus, for the D. You have to double him and that creates havoc on others. The Pirates set up into their four around one offense. Uh, if you have a good postman, it's very tough to defend. Everything centers on him. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gus Johnson and joining me, the man with all of the insight, the governor, Bill Rafter. Ah, he got it up and in. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. Looking for a good shot. Shots up. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Out on the right wing. He attempts the three. Comes up empty from deep. It's mine. The Bearcats are playing their style and controlling the tempo. You know, Gus, it's all about going out there and executing. They've done a great job of taking care of tempo. In the post. The Pirates in a hurry. He saves it. Out of bounds and a change of possession. Let's get another look at the layup. You've got to make these inside ones, Gus. They're high percentage shots. They've just got to be completed. Six minutes left on the game clock. And he can't get them out. Snatches the board. Out on the wing. Put a little English on it. You got to be prepared when you go up against this team, Raph. Their pressure can be relentless at times. They love to pressure you full court. Well, you're right on top of that, Gus. They really like to force you into mistakes with their pressure. Fire! How about that, Gus? That's a good pass. You know, he really sees the floor extremely well. Make sure his teammates get involved in each and every trip down the floor. On the left side. We're at the five-minute mark. On the outside. Wide, wide open. And misses. He owns the window. They work it into a double team in the post. He missed it. Snatches the rebound. Out on the right wing. Can't get it to go. Rips it down. Now they work it around the perimeter. Four minutes left on the game clock. Feed the low post. Jump shot. Transition. 
Off the mark. Nice rebound. Dump it inside. Call for the foul. Too aggressive on defense here. And he winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. Here's another solid junior build. By the time you're a junior, you know what your coach expects from you. It's about leading by example and guiding the younger players on the team. He hits it! Rims out. Look to outlet! On the right side. Fire! And it goes in! This guy is a real talent. A great passer and scorer. Because he can really put up points and find his teammates. A well around the player is a good feel for the game. They work the perimeter. Jump shot. No. Gets the ball. On the left side. Now we've got a turnover. Turnover. They'll go the other way. Defense playing up. And he can't get them out. Rips down the board. Out on the wing. We are at the two-minute mark. With 10 to shoot on the shot clock. He missed it. Pulls it in. Out on the left wing. He puts up the tray. Off that time. Snatches it down. Way out on the right wing. And lays it in. Top of the key. Around a minute remaining. Fire. Shots off. Get out and fill. And we'll get a change of possession. The Bearcats are moving the ball well and are getting contributions from a number of players at both ends of the floor. Every player who's stepped onto the court has been really focused, which makes it extremely tough for the opposition. This type of teamwork is fantastic to watch. On the wing. And he's fouled. Too aggressive on defense here, and he winds up with the foul. He always gets your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. Well, Bill, this young man's now in his second season of eligibility. He's still young, but the coach has him out there for a reason. He tends to make the right decisions out there, which means more playing time for him. A simple concept that applies to everyone, regardless of age or experience. Misses. Pulls it down. The Pirates set up three around two. When you have smart inside people, they understand how to maintain spacing throughout each trip. He can't get it to go. On the left side. And he lays it up and in. The Bearcats seem like they want to take the defensive pressure to the next level. Watch for some full court pressure, Gus. I'm curious to see how the pressure will be handled. They work it around the perimeter.
Here comes the pain. One half is in the book. Stay tuned for CBS at the half. And a quick look at the team's stats for both teams. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identified at the outset. They command them. Minimum. On the right side. Rejected. Sideline inbound. Defense is right up on him, not giving up any open looks. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really gotta know your limitations, guys. Seniors are tough to come by these days. When you have a few of them on your roster, it really helps from a coaching standpoint. They know what's expected of them, and they're most likely to deliver. A couple of free ones. Chance to breathe. He makes it. He missed it. Pulls down the board. Call for the foul. And one. Beautiful. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Opportunity for a three-point play now. Back in it. Got it from the free throw line. on the shot clock. With the big shot. How did he even see the hoop from that far out? Now they work it around the perimeter. They're going to call that a backboard violation. You've got to think. You've got to limit those moments. Terrific! Ball's going to stay here. Baseline inbound. Out of bounds, and we're not going anywhere. They'll start from the baseline. Off the mark. Get out and fill. Out on the way. And he's fouled. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really gotta know your limitations, Gus. Opportunity here to put some points up, Gus. Clock stopping.
Gets two at the charity strike. Out on the right wing. Six minutes left on the game clock. Shot clock shows 10. Jump shot. Shots off. Transition. Way out on the right wing. Can't connect from the three-point line. The Bearcats are controlling the pace of the game. They're doing a terrific job at playing their game really making a conscious effort to control the tempo and imposing their will on the opposition. Dump it inside. Lobs it inside. And we'll get a change of possession. Five minutes left on the game clock. Takes the pass in the paint. Call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. A chance for two. Great attack. Count. He got them both. They work it around the perimeter. Again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive. You just got to know when to back off. He's not the greatest from the charity strike. His mechanics are full off, Gus. The Bearcats are really looking to turn up the pressure and perhaps tempo with this press bill. It looks like they want the tempo to be faster. This change will likely increase the pace of play. Do they need a timeout here, Rack? Gus, they definitely need a timeout. They've lost their composure. The fans are making a difference, Rap. This is a tough place to play. The Bearcats are doing a great job of controlling the pace of this game. I'll tell you, if you make the opposition play at your pace, it can really get them out of their comfort zone. Out on the left wing. Takes the medium-range jump shot. No. Tipped in. What a great tip in. You've got to applaud that second effort. The Bearcats are taking things to the next level with their extended pressure defense, Raph. An aggressive move on their part, Gus. They'll be looking to force some turnover. We've got a timeout. More CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA right after this. And after the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. On the
the left side. We'll stay right here. Raph, it's been a great team effort for these guys. As a coach, it's great to see all five guys on the floor working together. That is impressive. That's how you win, and win consistently, Gus. When multiple people contribute, it takes the pressure off your superstar. They're set to throw it in from the side. In the lane. How about this kill? Huh? The Bearcats, and they're in their motion offense, working with four around one. Well, if you have a big guy that can find people, it really puts a lot of pressure on the D. We're at the three-minute mark. With ten to shoot on the shot clock. on the play. Obviously too aggressive here defensive. He's really got to know your limitations, guys. At the foul line. Solid shooter. Makes it. Gets two at the charity strike. The Bearcats are really looking to turn up the pressure and perhaps tempo with this press build. It looks like they want the tempo to be faster. This change will likely increase the pace of play. Full court pass. Look at that block. Terrific reaction. Now looking to attack. Send it in, guys. The Bearcats look like they want to use their defense to speed up the tempo in this game. Well, pressuring in the full court is a great tactic if you have the personnel cuts. Otherwise, it's an ill-advised play on the defensive end. You've got to know your strengths and stick to them. On the left side. We are at the two-minute mark. Now they work it around the perimeter with 10 to shoot on the shot clock. He tries to beat the buzzer. He nails the bucket. Looking for a good shot. Shots up for three. The Bearcats look like they want to use their defense to speed up the tempo in this game. Well, pressuring in the full court is a great tactic if you have the personnel guys. Otherwise, it's an ill-advised play on the defensive end. You've got to know your strengths and stick to them. On the left side. One minute left on the game clock. On the wing. Heat check time from long range. No luck from downtown. First personal foul. Great release on this three ball. How about that? He's able to the first deep. With the free one. He gets it to go. He got them both. The Bearcats are making an adjustment defensively. Looks like they're going to apply additional pressure defensively. It's a great decision if you have the players to play full court pressure defense, Gus. They need stamina, though. It's not an easy defense to play for extended periods of time. And he misses the shot. 
Work it around the perimeter. on the play. And here's a look at the freshman. He is beginning his career as a student athlete, and that is a big deal. Everyone on this squad is solid from the free throw line. Their team free throw percentage is pretty good. You know it's always tough to play a team that can knock it down with consistency coming down the stretch. It's good! Block. Raph, we had a couple of great performances out there today, and here are our players of the game. These kids were awesome out there. As a coach, these are the type of performances you want to get from your players. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for now. Tune in for more college basketball action on CBS Sports, brought to you by EA Sports. For Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson.